a question we did not do the other night. Uh, the first part of it is to first part of this question is to solve uh, algebraically, uh, which means to get x by itself. You want to eliminate fractions. First thing you always do is eliminate fractions when uh, looking at yeah. a problem like this. Uh, when you eliminate the fractions, you like put the two because it's that's the denominator on the left side, right? Yeah, you're going to multiply everything by two on both sides yeah. of the equation. So that two gets distributed in to uh, to everything. Um, same thing over here on the right. Uh, my suggestion is to do them, you know, one at a time here, not try to jump, you know, ahead with answers. So it's going to be negative six divided by two x plus yeah. ten equals four x minus four. And you might be saying, well, we haven't eliminated the fraction over here on the left, and you're right, but it does work out now where negative six divided by two is negative three x. So if you're comfortable, you you can jump right to that step, uh, but be sure you multiply everything by the uh, by the the number. So uh, okay. from here, um, this is a multi-step equation. Any idea how to solve for x when x is on both sides of the equation? Um, do you just take negative three and you subtract negative three and then put it under four? You, you have to decide whether to move the x's to the left or to the right. And it actually doesn't matter. Uh, do you have, I, I would, I guess I would tell you to add three x to both sides because adding is better than subtracting. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you, you can go either way. Like there's not, it's, it's like, they're both right. So what, yeah. uh, what, you know, what do you, what do you think is the, the right way to go? Um, so from here, uh, you want to add four to both sides. So that's 14 equals seven X divide by seven, divide by seven. So X equals two. Good. Got it. All right. So now the I think the harder part is if we were to graph this, and uh, let me snip in a graph, um, because you got to remember a couple of things. You got to remember slope and intercept, and yeah. you got to do it for both lines. So let me grab a an axis here. When Sorry. you graph it, would you use like the fourteen and seven? You you go back actually to the original form. Oh, okay. you, you want it in like MX plus B form. Okay. When you graph. So uh, you, good question here because you really want you really want the equation in this form where it's solved for Y. There is no Y in your uh, problem set, but you can think of it uh, as being a number times X plus plus B. So let me go grab the original here. That's not where I want to put that. Okay, so like like I'm looking at this first one as mx plus b minus three halves x plus b. Uh, what is the slope and what is the b value for this? First one? Um, does I'm not really sure to be honest. What number is in front of x? Oh, um, sorry, three, three, three. Negative three halves. All of this. All of this is in front of x. Uh -huh. All of this is the slope. Oh, okay, okay. And, and the B is the other is the other number. Uh, B is five. Yes, B is five. So when you're graphing, you start with the B value. So you go to five on the Y axis. Okay, okay. and then you go, how do you do the three halves? So that, the, the slope tells you that you're gonna go down three and right two. Down because it's oh. negative. Okay, well, what if, Okay, okay. So so if it were like positive three, it would be up three, but because it's negative, it's down. But it's always to the right. The bottom number is always right. Top number is always up or down. Okay, okay. So you go from that point, you just, just put on the graph. They're down three, right two, down three, right two. You're just counting. I mean, there's nothing special here about this. You know, make sure they look like they're on a line uh, when you're done. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to do the same thing here for uh, for this other one. Uh, this it's it's again it's m x plus b. M is the number in front of x. B is the other number. What is the slope and what is the uh, b value? Uh, m is two x and b is negative two. 
So the slope is always a number. It's just a number. Okay. Yeah. I, I, you've told me this. I don't know. I keep forgetting. That's okay. I, I, the, at some point I'll just be like, yeah, you know, you'll, you'll hear it hear me in your head and you're like, get out of my head. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now the slope, the slope is always a fraction. So two okay. is really two over one. Okay. And, and uh, it's always just moving up either like two and then going right one. Yes. So yeah. now we're going to, we're going to start at negative two with the, with the, uh, with the B value. Okay. okay. Um, and then from there, you're going to go up to right one. So up to right one, up to right one, up to right one, and so on. And you, you do see the intersection point there. Yeah, I do. And it, it, uh, it's kind of, they're kind of not giving you everything that you need to know to do this. Cause there's really, there's really both an X and a Y for that intersection point. It's at two comma two. There's both an X value and a, and a Y value there. Okay. Any questions on that? Uh, no, not really. No. Okay. Would I have to write anything if it like crosses like an X? What, what do you could try that one more time? Could you say that one more time? I didn't follow. like, like on the graph, like, would I have to like say like crosses at this point? It's a good idea to do that. So if they say to solve graphically, they want to know where it intersects. Yeah. And okay. Like it, you know, even though it's obvious, even though it's like it's right there. It's right. Yeah. It's right there. They. It's so like my teacher have, is like weird like that, and he'll like. Um, yeah uh you know there's if you look you, if you're driving the stop sign it says stop on it but we know it's an octagon it means stop but it still says stop i mean yeah so sometimes okay. you just stay say the obvious right okay. okay uh new problem to look at here um minus 2x minus 3 equals 2x plus 5 do you want to try solving this one on your own um yeah, you need, sure. okay. I'll do that. Yeah, take a minute. See and what you come up. Graph it. Just, just, just the x part. Just give me the x value. Is that the x value is the two x minus three? So what I'm trying to, what I'm asking you to do here is I'm asking you oh, to oh solve you, it like that. Yes, okay, give me get down right. here and say x equals whatever it equals. Okay. okay. So let me uh, let me uh, frame that here. I got two equals X. I don't know if that's right or not. Uh, yeah, that that's is, uh, the, uh, so that it's really, really close, really, really close. Okay. Um, let's see what here. So did you add two X to both sides? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that gives you negative three equals four X plus five, subtract five from both sides. So negative eight equals four X 
divide both sides by four. So it's actually negative two. Oh. Where did your, where was your mistake if you see it? Uh, so I did like, instead I put three on each side. So you added three to both sides first? No, 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 no. So when it was three, like that right where your cursor was, yeah, I instead of putting uh, five minus five on each side, I'd put three minus three. Right, uh, right, right. Uh, so that's that's fine. You can do that. But then it's zero equals four X plus eight. And and my guess is you just put an equal sign here or did something else uh, like that. Um, then I got, after I did that, oh, wait, no, I did. No, yeah. Okay. Yeah, never mind. I mean, you this is okay to do. You still have to move something over to the left now, whether it's the 4x or the 8. Either well, one. Well, then I divided by uh, 4. Okay, so you can you can still do that. Like, you're still not wrong. You're still doing fine. You get x plus 2. Yeah. You still have to get the number on the other side of the equation. Yeah, uh, that's it. I was going back, and I was like, this doesn't seem right because x should be in front of 2. Yeah. It's going in, but I just it was going to take too long. Okay, so let's uh, let's look at the two equations now. Let me um, we're going to graph them. So let's let just get a little room in here. Okay, so they're 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 both already in the form mx plus b. Yeah. Put that in uh, another color here. So mx plus b. Uh, what is the value of m and what is the value of b for that first one? What's the number in front of x? Negative two. Negative two. We really write that as a fraction, so it's negative, negative two, two over one. one. And, then and then three. Negative three. Good. So you start at the b value. Yep. At the b value. Okay. You start and at that, negative three and then you go up two and then, oh, you would, go down two. Yeah, down two. Oh, right. And right then one, one. to three. So down two, right one, down two, right one. And then I guess I'm going to go back the other direction just because there's a lot of room uh, left. But that that's good for that. Now let's look at the other one here. Uh, what's the slope and what's the B value of this one on the right? Uh, two over one. Okay. And uh, five. Okay, so you start at five and you go up two, right one, up two, right one. But you have to go backwards because they don't intersect. But there, there you do see the intersection point. Uh, let me yeah. grab the, the other one there. So your your um, your graph should confirm the uh, the number you got. So you said initially x was two, but these actually intersect at negative two. Now I know we corrected it, but the but what you want to do is is make sure that what you get algebraically is confirmed graphically. What's the y value there? Can you tell me? Um, one and two. Yeah, negative one, negative two, comma one. Yeah. Okay, let's do uh, let's do another problem here. I'm gonna grab one from a uh, a different worksheet that I found here. All right, so. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set the two equations equal to each other. Okay. And I want you to try solving it. It's similar to the last one. So if you get everything on one side, you still have to move everything back to the other. Okay. Yeah, let me try to solve this one. If you have any questions, please ask. Okay, I got you.
Uh, I got X equals one. Okay. How confident are you in your answer? Uh, not very confident. <laughs> okay, it is correct. <laughs> it is correct. Uh, I All was right. thinking one that because I did that, but then I was just, I don't know. Was... Sometimes I ask because I, I want you to eventually have the confidence to say, Yeah, it's correct. Why are you even asking me? I, I just know that yeah. it's it's the right answer. I'm not at that level yet. Yeah, yeah. Well always keep that in mind. So uh let's let me grab a graph here. Um we'll we'll, we'll focus a little more on solving, but uh for the first equation, can you tell me, for this first one here, can you tell me the slope and the B value? Uh, the slope is um, negative three over one. Okay. And the B value? Four. Okay. Which do you start with? Do you start at the slope or the B value? The B value. All right. So there it is. From that point that I've drawn on the right here, where am I going based on the slope? Up, You're down, left, down right? three, and then right one. Very good. And then something like that. Okay, I uh, got that down. Now the other one, the other one I'll just do in a, in a different color here. It's uh, it's starting at negative two and it's got a slope of three. So you go up three and right one, up three and right one. So do these intersect at an X value of one? Uh, yeah, they do. And what's the Y value there? One and one. One and one, good. Okay, you seem to have this down. Um, is there something yeah, else we I'll, can I'll do? Like work? one more, just to make sure. And then okay, one more. Yeah. All right, let me. Yeah, let me. Uh, okay, so let me. All right, new problem here. Four uh, x minus nine equals x minus three. Just go ahead and solve that, please. Would it become four x? Uh, what? Tell me how you how you did that. Um, subtracting four on each side. Uh, you mean four x on both sides? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so uh, let's put a one in front here. So we're, it, what what I heard is minus four x minus four x. Yeah. Okay, so on the on the left it's minus nine, but on the right it's one x minus four x. So when you subtract when you subtract the the x's don't go away. Uh, you, yeah. you just change the number in front. Yeah. So negative three x. Yes. Okay. So if it's just like that, you put the one there. Yeah, I, it's always good to put the one in front of the in front of the variable, or if it's a negative, you put negative one in front. Gotcha. Okay. Let me try solve it on the rest. Uh, I got X equals two. Yes. Gotcha. That's correct. All right. Uh, so we don't have enough time to do a new topic. Is there anything else you want us to cover? Should I just give you more examples of these to look at? No, that's cool. Okay. Let me, let me find another one here that I think is pretty good. Uh, let's go. Uh, X minus... Three equals seven X plus three. So again, you probably want to put a one in front of the X here on the left. Uh, 
Uh, X equals one. X equals one? Yeah. Okay, so there's definitely a mistake here. Um, I'm checking it by by mental math. I'm putting one in here. One minus three is negative two. Seven times one is seven plus three is 10. Those are, those are not the same. So tell me what you did first. Did you subtract one X? Did you do something else? What, what did you oh, do? I subtracted one X from seven X negative. Yeah. Okay. So that bring that's negative three equals. And what is seven X minus one X? Six X. Yes. Yeah. And then, okay. and then I did uh, what you call it. Uh, I had negative three plus, and then I subtracted three from your side. Okay, very good. So and that's six. negative six equals six X. And then I divided six on each side. Okay, so this, I mean, everything's correct here, but the negative has to come down with the answer. So it's it's X equals negative one. Uh, oh my gosh, yeah. It's such a small thing, but it really that's makes a huge difference. Thing. Uh, yeah, when it I comes to uh, problem so much, I don't know why. Yeah. Okay, we got time for at least one more here. Gotcha. Um, let's go. Um, two minus four x equals x minus three. Okay. So I would I would tell you to put a one in front of the x. Okay. Um, on this one, since the X isn't like four X isn't the first number, would I still like, yeah, never mind, never mind. I, I got this. Number. Yeah. You still add four X. If, if yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, so yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I'm like, I'm confused on this one. All right, so we'll close out with this problem here. We're going to add 4x to both sides. Oh, I did it to negative 3. So the x terms have to line up. So it's 2 equals 5x minus 3. Okay. Add, add 3 to both sides. 5 equals 5x. Divide by 5, divide by 5. Uh, x equals 1. Okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, real quick here, uh, Remy, want to just uh, uh, 